Eric, and welcome to a back and shoulder exercise routine for the Bowflex. And in today's video, I'm going to be using a Bowflex Exceed, and you can do this routine on any Bowflex that looks like this, but you could probably also do it on a Blaze or an Ultimate. Pretty much you're looking for a Bowflex that has this uh, top set of pulleys with the lat pull-down bar. And all of our lifts today are going to be using this lat pull-down bar, and we're going to be doing a heavy style routine, meaning we're counting our reps instead of just working out to the clock behind us. And as part of that, you're going to have to rack up a lot of resistance. What you want to do is rack up a resistance that's going to be difficult to complete all eight sets, but not impossible, but still not leave a lot of reps left in the tank. And for that, I'm going to be using my elastic band upgrade, which I hope to soon have a video out on. on showing you how you can add a lot more resistance to your Bowflex for not a lot of cost. So uh, a couple of optional pieces of equipment here. I'm going to be wearing some weightlifting gloves. And I like wearing these when I'm holding on to these bars a lot because my hands are kind of soft. <laughs> and uh, another thing is I'm going to be using a elastic band here as part of our warm up routine, just as a band pull apart. Great for stretching out your back. Totally optional though. I'll have an alternate lift shown up on the screen. Today's routine consists of eight different exercises, 24 sets in total, and again, each set is going to be eight repetitions. Those reps will be counted down on the screen behind me, and it's going to be moving at a pace of four seconds per rep, and that's probably a little bit slower than what you normally do, but this is going to force us to really stay in control of the weight, and it's going to add a little bit more difficulty. So after our work intervals, we're going to have 45-second rest intervals, and there will be no breaks throughout this routine because of the longer rest intervals and that's what I like to do with the heavier weight routines is a little bit longer rest interval so if you're going to be joining me for this workout today please go ahead and give this video a like and uh, when you're done you know comment below let me know what you think I always appreciate that and uh, we're going to go ahead and get into our warm-up and then rack up our weights and I'll see you right back all right let's get it going with some jogging in place we're going to be doing this for about 90 seconds here, trying to get the body warm, the blood flowing, and then we'll get a nice stretch on. And during this 90 seconds, I'm going to go ahead and demo all the different exercises that we'll be doing today on the screen here. And everything, again, is going to be running through top set of pulleys, and we're going to be using this lat pull-down bar. And the first lift we're going to be doing is, what do you know, a lat pull-down. So after that, we're going to move into... An exercise I call the climbing row, which is going to be a little bit different, where we pull with one arm, then the other arm, and then release. Then we're going to be doing some more kind of unique exercises here. We're going to unclip the bar in one side. We're going to be doing some horizontal shoulder pulls, where we pull the whole bar across our body horizontally. Then we're going to do some wood chops with the bar disconnected like this. We're going to get a really good range of motion in our wood chips, wood chops. Then some tricep extensions, a nice classic lift when you're going through this top set of pulleys. Another set of lat pull down, a little bit different of a grip. We're going to do another set of rows, a little bit different one. And then finally, we're going to be wrapping things up with a seated pull down crunch. So speaking of that, and wrapping things up, we're done with our jog and we're gonna move into some arm circles. So for this, make some small circles and we're slowly gonna make these circles bigger and bigger until they can't get any bigger. And we're gonna do a few with this range of motion here. And now let's change directions and slowly start to bring it in. Smaller and smaller circles here. All right, here we go. Now next, we're gonna do some arm swings to arm pulls. So swing your arms across your body, loosen up your chest and your back. And then let's stop it and pull the, your arm kind of at your elbow across your body. And then release, and we're gonna do some more swings. Pull on the opposite side. And then we're going to repeat here some more arm swings into a pull here. Stretch out both your tricep and also your shoulder here and hold it for a few seconds. Some more swings and then a nice pull. 
Give it a good five seconds here. And while we're doing that, let's go ahead and grab our elastic band here. So for this, we're gonna bend this band in half here, and then we are gonna stretch it all the way out. And you should feel a nice stretch in your back here as you pull this band as wide as it'll go or as wide as you can reach. Take a nice and easy, stay in control. couple more seconds of this. And then this last lift is going to be totally up to you, whatever you feel like you need today. Maybe that is some torso twist, or what I feel like I need is a forward fold here. And I'm just going to hold this. You could also do some saucers, loosen up your neck, whatever feels good to you. We're going to hold this though until the timer ticks out. All right, nice. Now let's go ahead and rack up our resistance. So three different weight settings. We've got a heavy weight setting, medium, and a lightweight setting. Now, I would encourage you to rack up a little bit more weight than you're used to if you normally do hit style routines. And so a heavy weight setting is gonna be 100 pounds plus. I know I've got a wide range of users. It could be um, 150 pounds on each side. You know, it's, it's really kind of up to you. I'm gonna be racking up about um, 150 pounds or so on each side of my machine. Uh, for a medium setting, I would say 80 pounds of resistance on both sides and a lightweight setting. You know, I'd go ahead and rack up a little bit more than you might be used to and rack up 50 pounds of power rods on both sides. And you can change the weight setting after every lift if you'd like. Uh, hopefully we find a good weight setting though that you can take it through this entire routine. And I probably won't be changing my resistance the entire time. So. Our first lift today is just going to be a lap pull down. And for this, you are going to be facing the tower here and you're going to grab these, the wide handles here. And one thing I like to do for lap pull down is I like to put my whole hand over the bar instead of kind of like this. I like to put it all over the bar. Hopefully you can see this. All right. And then we are going to pull down at each beep and then slowly release the weight here. So everybody to join me now. Let's go pull and slowly release. Pull on the beep and release. Pull on that beep. And if you get out of sync with the beeps, don't worry about it. Just hold the weight until you hear the beep and then slowly release. All right, nice. So that was our first set. Go ahead and adjust the weight setting if you need it. Again, I've got a, a weight setting that I'll probably use for this entire routine. And we're gonna be doing three sets of lat pull down here in a row. All right, so let's get our head in the game here. Get ready to keep it going. Hands out wide, thumb over the bar. And we're gonna sit down here, sit up nice and tall, face the tower and pull on that beep. And then slowly release. Pull. Last one. All right, nice. Two sets down and for your final set of each exercise, I want you to do as many repetitions as you can do. So if you got, you know, if you normally do eight, go for 12, go for 15, whatever you can do, burn out until failure here. And then we're gonna get into our next lift after this. And if you can do 15, 
the next time you do this routine, I want you racking up more weight. And you know, you should probably rack up a little bit more weight for the next exercise. Because again, we want to find a weight setting where it's not impossible to do weight, but not have a lot left in the tank. All right, here we go. Let's pull and release. Pull. Pull. All right, keep going. That was eight. All right. So I got an 11 there. Probably could have got maybe one or two more, but I want to start showing you our next exercise. And this one's probably going to be the toughest exercise of the day. And this is what I call the climbing row. So for this, I'm going to stand with actually one foot on my seat here, and then I'm going to grab these handles out wide, just like we had for the lat pull down. And instead of just pulling the weight in towards my body, I'm going to pull with my right arm first, then my left, and then slowly release. So everybody join me here. We'll go right, left, and then release. And we're going to go left, right, and then release. Right, left, release. Left, right. Right, left. Left, right. Right, left, and release. Left, right, last one. All right, nice. So again, you can adjust your weight setting as needed. I'm gonna keep it the same for this next, for, for you know, probably for this whole routine. This is, a, I've done this one a few times in preparation for this video. I found a good setting for me. Find the right setting for you though. So we're gonna be repeating that two more times. And I like alternating my foot that is up on the bench here as I go. So let's go ahead and get in position. Grab those outer handles. Get your foot up. And here we go. Right, left, release. Left, right, release. Right, left, release. Left. Right, release. Nice. So again, there's no extended breaks throughout this routine, 45 seconds between each lift. So if you need a second to grab some water or towel off, you got it. Just stay, stay in the game mentally for, uh, for your next exercise. All right, let's get in position. Foot up on the bench. Here we go. Last one. Right, left, release. And again, I want you doing as many as you got. You got two more in you? All right, nice. So our next exercise can be a little bit different here. We're gonna unhook half of your lat pull down bar. And then we are gonna go into a horizontal 
shoulder pull. And for this, you're going to keep one arm close to the tower and then the other arm you're going to have on the other side of your body. And for this, you're just going to pull this weight across your body here in a horizontal fashion. And you're going to pull and then slowly release. So again, pull at the beep. Here we go. Let's pull and slowly release. Pull. You might need to really engage your core. All right, nice. So we're going to do another horizontal pull on this side, and then uh, we're going to keep it clipped up like this. We're going to do a wood chop after that. So anytime you have weight that's kind of outstretched and you're trying to balance, you really are going to engage your core, which this lift is really good for not just hitting your shoulders in kind of a different motion. Also make you uh, stand up nice and tall. All right, let's go. Excellent. All right. So we're going to leave our uh, lat pull down bar hanging like this because we're going to do a wood chop from this side, do a little bit of tricep work, and then we're going to switch sides here in just a moment. So for a wood chop, what we're going to do here is you're going to grab both of your hands at the handle of your, like kind of the far handle here. And then you are going to pull this weight down across your body. I hope that's coming through on camera, but you can kind of see you're pulling that weight across here. So I have one foot resting up the, against the base of the machine and my other foot out wide. And that slow release of the weight really engages your core. Excellent. One more wood chop on the side. That was exercise, I think, number nine here. So you're over a third of the way through this routine. There is no stopping in the middle. You're only stopping at the end. All right. Let's get in position here. And then we'll again, pull this weight across and slowly release it. Here we go. me all the reps you got here too.
All right, next lift we're gonna be doing here is a tricep extension. And we are gonna leave our bar just kind of dangling like this. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab both hands are gonna be kind of in the middle of the bar here. And then you're just gonna pull the bar down into a nice tricep extension just like this here. I guess I'm gonna be up a little bit higher on the bar than the midway point. Let's extend and slowly release. Right. We're going to do one more tricep extension on this side, switch our pulley position or uh, move this bar to the other side. And we'll hit our triceps one more time after this as well. All right, let's get in position for another set of eight. Here we go, extend. All right, so next we're gonna hook up our pulley or our uh, bar on the other pulley. And then just unclip this one. And now we're just gonna go the other direction. So again, I'd like having one foot touching the base of my bow flex here. And then I have one other foot out wide. And then I'm gonna just try to be sliding this across my body real smooth. All right, let's go. Nice. All right, let's get all set up for another set here. Really control that weight as it slides smoothly over your back. Let's do a couple extra reps here.
Very nice. Wood chop up next. Going the other direction, of course, this time. And we're going to pull this weight across our body. Now, this wood chop, I really, I found using this bar to give me the best wood chop on this machine, funnily enough, because these cables only pull, you know, so far. And to do a, a good chop, you need to bring it down, way down here. And uh, this bar gives you a nice extension to that. So let's get chopping. Here we go. And slowly release. Really engage that core, stabilize this motion. Another set of chops coming up here. It'll be our last wood chop. So again, give me all the reps you got. And then we're gonna do some tricep extension. And then we're gonna reclip our bar back in place. So we're getting weight from both directions. All right, let's get in position. Give me all the chops you got. Here we go. Chop and slowly release. You got 12? I got 12. That's nine. 10. 11. And 12. All right. Tricep extension here. One more of these. Shake it out. Stay nice and loose. You are two thirds of the way done. You see this little nine down here? That's how many sets we got left, except we're in our rest period. So eight sets, eight sets remaining here. All right, tricep extension. How many sets you got? You got 10? It's nine, 10. I got 12, I got 12 here. All right, excellent. Let's hook up our bar. So we got this back together now. And now we're gonna do some more lap pull downs, except instead of taking your grip out wide, I want you grip kind of like this. I want your palms facing towards your body and uh, your arms about shoulder width apart here. And now we're just gonna pull the weight down and hold it for a sec and then release. Pull, slowly release. I want you pulling down on the beep.
right. We're gonna be doing one more set of the narrow grip lat pull down here. So we're just doing two on the back end here. All right, let's get seated and in position. And work until failure here. Let's pull, release, pull. How many you got? I'm going for 10 here. All right, good work. That grip there really engages your forearms a lot more than that wide grip. A little bit, a little bit different of a, an exercise there. Also hits your biceps a bit more, a little bit less of your back and your lats. All right, so next lift though, we're gonna keep that narrow grip going. This time I want your hands over the bar and we're gonna do a standing row here, one foot on the bench, and then you're just gonna pull this weight in towards your chest. Here we go, and slowly release. All right, one more set of that coming up. And you know, if you've made it this far in this routine, I wanna go ahead and share something I'm working on outside of just the normal videos. I've been working on creating a lot of different workout programs that I will soon be releasing through a Patreon. So, uh, you know, if you've made it this far in this routine, you're probably interested in not just individual workouts, you might be interested in how to stack those all up for some, uh, some good progress. And uh, check out, I'll have some links in the, uh, the comments or in the description field of this video that, uh, that link it over. And uh, please check that out. You know, um, it's a great way to support me and the channel. Let's get rowing. Couple more, couple more. Nice. So again, the Patreon, completely optional. I plan to keep all of the workouts completely free, but the ways to progress through them and, uh, and just structured programs. So you're not just bouncing around between one random video and the next. There'll be links to all that. Hope, uh, hope you consider uh, supporting me that way because let me tell you YouTube ads <laughs> do not pay much and uh, these videos take quite a long time it's a great way to, to say you know thanks for all of the work here so our next uh, our next lift is going to be a crunch here and you're going to be kind of standing up with your butt against the tower and then you're just going to pull this weight down and then slowly release it
All right. Two more of these, and then we could call it a day here. So I found you kind of need to stand up on this particular lift. If you sit down, you just don't get much range of motion in this crunch. And uh, just, you know, really try to engage your core and focus on only moving your body with your abs and maybe just a little bit of your lower back. Just stay in control, you know. All right, so let's grab our bar here, pull it down to shoulder height, and now let's crunch and slowly release. Crunch. final set of this routine coming right up. Another one of those crunches. All right, let's finish this routine strong. How many you got? You got 12 of these? I'm feeling 12 for this final set. Really flex those abs. That's eight. All right, that'd be 12 for me. Keep going if you got it. And uh, as always, don't forget to remove your power rods from tension at the end of your routine. I wanna thank you for watching. Watching these videos help support the channel as well. Don't forget to give this video a like, comment below if you really enjoyed this routine. And as always, be good to yourself, be good to others, and thank you for watching.